We've almost made it to the Brotherhood of Freedom. I can't wait to help them against Nod. It's my mistake and I wish to help them and do it. For them. Shit. Just got a report that Dalton managed to fuse the Tiberium universe with the Sage universe. It's now the Sage Omniverse. How is this possible? Could you have been working on this the entire time while we were focusing on everything else? Hello, Daddy. It's been so long since we've last talked. We finally managed to regain communications with you. Sage. Truth is I have been keeping a close eye on all of you. I've heard all of your communications and I wish to send this message to Rhino and the others. I wish to apologize. What, Sage? No, you don't have to do that. If anyone is at fault, it's me for bringing you all into this. I should have protected you all better. But I've failed as a father. I failed to protect you all. No, none of this is your fault. Don't blame yourself. I only wish to do this so that you and Rhino can have a better friendship. Make no mistake, my opinion of them will stay the same. I'm doing this for you so that you and them can have a better friendship. To all the role players, I apologize for everything. You don't need to forgive me. I am only doing this so that you and my father can restore your friendship with each other. With this said, I will be ending communications. Please be careful, Daddy. Goodbye, Sage. Please be careful. I love you. Double Zeta, we are getting a transmission from Ben. He says it's very important. Zeta, there are, there are things you should know when it comes to gods. Gods are spiritual entities, so they are like super powerful spirits on unnatural levels. A mortal who claims that they have gained godlike or have become a god couldn't actually become an actual god. A mortal who has seized such power forcefully through mortal means and methods becomes a pseudo-god. Over many years, many mortals try to surpass the gods while maintaining their mortal lives, but in truth, they could never surpass even subgods like the Lesser Azir of Norse mythology. Not to mention mortals who become pseudogods will suffer drawbacks from the powers they wield. Which means that the power Stella has on hand is going to ruin her body from the inside gradually over time because mortal bodies and godly powers are not a natural good mix. Including angelic or demonic powers. What? No! Shit, this isn't good. Is there a way to prevent this? The best that can be done is to remove the power before the corruption sets in. Otherwise, her mortal body will gradually break down over time and warp her spirit and soul into that of a mad deity. I can extract and isolate it so she can have better chances. You'd best get in contact with Stella and let her know of the grave dangers of her situation before she thinks about keeping Jizzera's powers for herself. And they could destroy the lovely woman you care for from the inside. Oh, I have. I have. Contact her! Please, you must hurry before the damage becomes irreparable. Ah, I will try. I just hope she will understand. Ending transmission. Joel, what is our position to the Brotherhood? We are almost there. It should not take us much longer to get to the Brotherhood of Freedom's frontline base against the Brotherhood of Nod. Good! It will be nice to aid the Brotherhood of Freedom and help them undo the damage I have done. Can really blame yourself for this. I mean, you started Nod, but you wanted to make your own Nod. You didn't plan for all this shit to happen. Thank you, Joel. I just hope the others will understand. But for now, we will focus on helping them in their war against Nod. Belka has already begun attacking Nod along with help from the other role players. Ah! I must find a way to help Stella. Soon we will arrive and begin to help the Brotherhood of Freedom against our enemies.